I operate with a sincere belief that culture is being created every day through the languages we make, through the work that we create, in our own spheres, in our own communities, and that all of that work, all of that cultural creation is worth recording. Hi, I'm Nadia Agarwal. I'm a writer. I founded Kajal Magazine, which publishes the art and opinion of the South Asian global diaspora in print and online. And I co-organized the dance party Disco Andi. Thinking about culture and identity and how it plays out in my work, I really consider myself a curator and an archivist of the South Asian diaspora's experience. I don't try to focus on identity in and of itself, but specifically how who we are affects the environments that we live in. My goal with my writing and with Kajal Magazine is to find these stories and to record them in their purest and most unadulterated forms. I think in a lot of ways my work is a rejection of the sort of cottage industry that has popped up around identity and cultural exposure. Maybe back in 2015 or even before publications, it felt like we're really trying to trade in stories about other cultures as translated to a mostly white audiences. They seem to really love shallow think pieces. It felt that rejection of cultural practices because it gave them a bite-sized view into a culture they didn't understand or know and also gave them reason to revile them without actually having to think about it. This is a generalization, but I feel culpable because as an agent trafficking in my own, you know, shared experiences about being Indian American and selling them to magazines because it made me feel for a short while at least that I was scratching towards some kind of revelation about my identity and also because it um, paid my rent, I really wanted to work against it and push back on it. Everything I do is through the lens of being who I am and existing in the body that I exist in. And I think in that way, my work both transcends identity and culture and is bolstered up by them. Mm -hmm.